Hello, it's Average Row, and welcome back to To The Moon. We are right where we left off in the last episode, kind of like in the middle-aged phase, I guess. And yeah, we're going to just keep it moving here. Um, we have three big questions that I'm still wondering. And the first of which is, why is Anya, the lighthouse, so important to River and Johnny? You know what I mean? We know we got we know that they got married there, but we don't know what else well, like why else it's important to them. And then really the other one is just what is the details of River's condition? You know, I don't we we know how she died. She chose not to get treatment so that Johnny could finish the house, right? But we don't know why River is making these rabbits. Like what's the significance? I get the I get the idea that Johnny is forgetting something that maybe he promised to remember about rabbits or something, which is why, like, on two occasions now, River's been, like, probing and probing um, Johnny's memory to try to get him to remember something about the rabbits, but he's just not remembering. Um, and on top of that, another thing he doesn't remember is, like, why he wants to go to the moon. He doesn't really know why, and we don't know why, therefore. Um, now, the last thing is, like, what was this incident that was talked about with River? Something happened to her which uh, I think maybe accelerated her condition or something. But uh, I'm not, not entirely sure. But I'm sure we are about to discover some of these answers in this episode. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, got a memory somehow. Not sure what triggered that. Okay, I was about to say, I'm really just waiting for something to happen. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? Oh, that's right. We're, we're, this is before Johnny even started building it. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. I guess that's the fear of heights, maybe? Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Oh. I could probably look up what acrophobia is, but maybe um, it'll be better if we just let the game reveal reveal that to us. Okay, there's nothing up here. Guess we'll walk across this log. All right. Good thing our agility level was high enough for that. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, okay, here we go. Looks like River is healthy. For the first time, I think, in this game. Is that why you approached me back then? Oh, the lighthouse is on, too. Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Okay. What is that? A hacky sack? <laughs> Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! What even was that? I think this memory isn't too far from the last. I think they may be connected? Probably. Okay, I think the last memory was... I uh, can't remember exactly which one that was. I just got done editing that episode too. <laughs> I'm like mind blanking on what it was. Okay, so the backpack. We've seen that backpack previously, I think, at some point. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. 
Okay, so that was a really quick memory. The only th really significant thing we learned was that, um, well, not really learned. It was uh, that whatever that hacky sack thing was that River asked Johnny to chuck off the cliff. All right, let's try our best on this one. Four moves. I got it. This one's easy. This one's easy. I actually understand this one. Oh, no, I messed up. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. Oh, well. All right, another memory hop. Okay, looks like we're at like a shop of some sort. Where were we? Okay, almost at a new stage. Everyone with it is different, John. Oh, are we learning about the condition? Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. So, okay, so our our hunch was right. Isabel and River have the same condition, whatever it is, but I guess River's is a bit more severe or something. Okay, so this is when John found out. This is when we, like, he gets revealed about River's condition in the first place. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Or maybe this is like post-incident. Maybe he already knew about the condition, but something changed recently, obviously. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long... Many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. I think this might be Ted, sitting next to Isabel. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? Oh, it's Nicholas, okay. I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. Okay. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be quote unquote normal. Yeah, that's tough. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. Okay. Soaking in this information. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Hmm. I've never met a woman with it before. With what? then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move. All right. So we got a little bit more information on this condition River has. I mean, Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts already know of it. You know what I mean? So we just don't know what exactly it is. It has to be something with the brain though. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Well, that's a good point. So, Johnny just, you know, didn't pay attention to these people, but it's cool, like, we can see them there. 
that's kind of how life is too you know when you walk around a shopping mall you don't you don't like automatically remember every single person's face you see what are you reading there the emperor's new clothes okay we've heard that before all right it was a childhood favorite of hers just for different reasons okay when I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. Okay, that explains why we saw the Animorphs thing in there. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present, I'll say. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. Emperor's New Clothes. I wonder if that's like a symbolic choice. Of book, you know, because they could have picked like any book, but they they specifically chose that one by um, Hans Christian Andersen or whatever. Okay, so I guess we're seeing him at different moments in this memory. Okay, let's do these dialogue things. What about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um. What? I have, I have no idea. Animal is David's main morph. Um. Uh, this is literally the first animal I thought of that fit the amount. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Okay, Moose was not correct, apparently. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Hmm, I'm wondering if we missed a memory from there, from this little conversation here. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf, why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. <laughs> All right, Cobra is the answer. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Cobra. Oh yeah, a cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those are cool. Yeah, we had that discussion, I think, in the first episode. So what is our memento then? There we go. I think it's the book, Emperor's New Clothes, that uh, River rented or bought. Alright, let's make another hop. Okay, ideal five. Jeez. Oh, we were one move off. That's alright. I'm actually impressed that I got it that quickly. <laughs> I was expecting another like 30 plus. Let's read the note real quick. Johnny's favorite childhood book. Okay. Yeah, the the two these two memories we've seen in this episode, they haven't been super informative. They've been like really quick, but um they the, what they did give us was important. You know what I mean?
All right, new stage. Looks like a young adult stage. Young man. Oh, uh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Okay. An aged Animorphs book. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I see Le Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Nice. Who are these people? Can't interact with them. There's really nothing to click, surprisingly. And where are we? Are we on that cliffside? By the, where the house ends up being? Because I don't see Johnny or River anywhere. Is this maybe their wedding? This is like what the party's for? They got married here? This is their, um, cause this looks, the landscape looks familiar, but we're just not seeing anything. They do look dressed up. Oh, we like got the very last one. I'm not sure if we missed anything, but let's just go ahead and uh, see what this is about, if anything. Okay. Altering time a little bit here, I think. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. Okay, so I was right. This is their wedding. No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What's it like? It's just different. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that feeling. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, they're dancing. Oh, man. Aw. Ow, my ass. <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Cute. Super cute. Oh, do they like dance all night? See, this list like makes me happy because it's just, you know, a nice couple. Just got married, sharing an intimate moment. Oh, we, we went back a little bit. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Aww. Ah, the wedding. 
Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Oh, it wasn't a mistake. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Not a mistake. I think some of these people look more solid than others because, like, Johnny barely remembers them compared to other people. Which is kind of sad if you think about it, but it's very real. You know what I mean? Especially when you get up there in age. You don't, like, exact... I'm sure, like, once I get, you know, super old, I, there might be some people at my wedding I don't even remember was there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I think, I think that's a cool little touch to kind of solidify this whole memory hopping thing. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Aw, tell her thanks for coming. I will. See, she's a little bit faded, I think, and she doesn't have a, uh, she doesn't have a little name. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. Okay. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ah, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Johnny's nickname named after his grandfather. Okay. Not sure how significant that'll end up being. I'm so proud of Joey. Okay, that's it. Hmm, we still need... Oh no, we only need one more. What could that possibly be? There's a little area down here we can go to. Creepy noises coming back. Don't like it. What is that? It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Oh, did someone like run over a rabbit or something? Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Okay. I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? That's what I'm saying. Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You're the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. <laughs> okay, that's the only clue we get regarding this rabbit. Okay. Is the rabbit the memento? It is. Where is it? Oh, here it is. A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What is the what is the significance of that? Maybe there's something we don't know, or maybe it's just like something with her her brain condition makes her remember that for some reason. This is uh, a weird memento. Three. Okay, I got this one. All right. This will make the jump. See, then what is this going to take us to? Hopefully it takes us to a, an alive rabbit. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. 
Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. A cool story, Neil. Yeah, that's definitely not, <laughs> definitely not it. Another roadkill. Poor thing. What's with all the roadkills today? Don't you look at me like that. Oh, that's right. The squirrel at the beginning of the game. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Okay, I think we'll walk this way. Or not. Well, maybe? No, I don't think we... Oh, there's a horse. They did say it was a farm. Oh, jeez. I almost freaked out because I, I thought we were going to get run over. Forgot that we're ghosts. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't I won't not ride it. <laughs> yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Have we got a note on him? That's funny. What does it say? Village idiot. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll chase after him. Wherever he went. Maybe in here. Oh, there he is. Oh no, that's uh that's River and Johnny. Can't interact with them. There's somebody oh wait, no, here we go. There's something here. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Oh no! River! Okay. What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Huh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Eva! <laughs> Still riding backwards. This is about 90% more than I can handle. What a moron. Can we ride this? Better go save his bum. Oh, we got controls. Oh god, this is awkward. My keyboard's not in the right spot. Alright, here we go. Hold space to gallop. Okay. I'm just gonna focus on... <laughs> focus on saving Neil. Come back. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> Ow. Hey, I found something here. Where'd he go? I thought he flew off this way somewhere. Let's go ahead and look for him. There we go. How do I get off? Well, it wasn't letting me get off no matter what I clicked, unless I'm forgetting something. So maybe we haven't found all the memories that we need. Okay, there we go. Now we have all the memories we need. And there we go.
Okay. Hmm. I think I'm getting a little bit better at these. <laughs> at least I like to think so. Alright. That was fun. Unexpected. Didn't really learn much, though, about them. Uh-oh. This looks like a doctor's office of some sort. Is the diagnosis certain? Okay, so this is when they first find out that she even has something in the first place. Dr. Lee says, yes, we've reached a consens consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, Ms., it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. It's odd. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Okay, so that's what the horse riding was for then. How does that help, though, her condition? Again, we, we can't really answer these questions until we know exactly what it is. Told you so. So they definitely have an idea then. Tony Atwood, the author of a series of books on River's condition. Okay. wonder if that's a real person. If, if, if that's a real person, that would imply that this condition is real too. So I'm not quite sure about that. The platypus again. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals though. All right. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. Oh, that's why the um, clocks in the house weren't making any noise. They were moving, but they were silent. So we probably like changed them in a way that, you know, made them stop ticking or st stop making the noise. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Should I be like piecing together what her condition is based off these clues? Something River can't stand. Okay, we need two more. Oh, that's the memento. Okay. Let's see what these, these two are saying. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Okay, so this is before the conversation we had with the doctor. So what is the last memento then that we do not have? I already looked at the platypus. Plain tawny handbag. Okay. That was the last memento we needed. OK. 
Okay, let's use this clock. Four moves. Hmm. Man, I'm killing it today. I'm killing it today with these things. There's this uh, theater. Oh, it's a very small memory. Oh, a new stage in life. Psst, look. I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. So I guess this is him as a teenager. Holy overcooked macaroni. The kid's in the theater all by himself? What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Must be watching The Last Airbender. Maybe he's like waiting for River or something and she just hasn't showed up for whatever reason. And thus this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Okay. We have entered a new phase in Johnny's life, the second to last one on this timeline. And uh, we pretty much went through all of his young adult life. So I think the biggest thing that happened was the marriage, but we didn't really get, we kind of inched our way closer to finding answers. You know what I mean? We still don't know the true nature of River's condition, but we kind of got an idea of how long she's been dealing with it and you know, it just emphasized more like that she's a very special case. But um, still don't know why Anya's important. Um, kind of got a hint. Like I said, we're inching closer. We got a hint about the rabbits, the significance of the rabbits, um, in the sense that there was a dead rabbit on their wedding. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. And we still don't know what this incident is. Or even, I think last episode, Nick mentioned something that he wanted Johnny to tell her. We still don't know what that is. So... Like always with this game, we have we have a lot of questions um, that we still need to answer, but we are getting close to the end, so these questions will soon get answered. So hopefully we get them answered soon because it's, it's just eating away at me. I really want to keep playing this game, but for now, I'm just going to have to call it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.